and welcome to another video. So I thought I would do kind of a what I've read so far and what I'm currently reading video. I, I know I don't do many of these so I thought it would be fun to do because I did end up getting three books read um, at the beginning of January near the end of December. So um, I'm actually really proud of myself but at the same time not the happiest with the choices I made. I have a really, really long TBR of standalones that I really want to get to before I get to any of the series that I really want to read. And there's so many that I really want to get to because I'm positive I'm going to love them. But anyways, so I decided to pick up two classics and then just random books after that. So the classics I picked up, well, the first one is Dr. Doolittle. And um, this is by Hugh Lofting. And I, I actually enjoyed the movie, but I'll be honest, the book is completely different. It's a completely different adventure. And the way he talks to animals is kind of different how that comes about. So the writing is really easy to understand. But I feel like it lacks a lot of, like, emotion. I don't know, like, feelings. I don't know how to explain it. I felt it very, like, dry. And so it kind of bored me, but I was able to get through it because it's such a short book and the writing is really easy to understand. Um, there is controversy because there's a section in this book and you guys can look at reviews and they'll talk about it, but I understand what they're talking about. But um, other than that, I don't know. I'm kind of conflicted on what to rate it. I, I'm, I just went with a three because it's not like a terrible story. It's just kind of a boring one. And the writing was really easy to understand. And I always appreciate writing that's easy to understand. So anyways, that's one of the books I read. I wasn't super thrilled about it because it was just like not what I expected. And then I picked up George Orwell's Animal Farm. I know this is a satire. I get the whole thing. Um, again, another really easy read. Really fast. Easy to understand. So I always appreciate that. I didn't enjoy it. And then... I randomly picked up this book, which I knew nothing about. It's by an author called Linda Berry. Okay, so I picked it up at the library. They had it for real cheap, but it had all these cool, like, you know, illustrations on the inside. And yeah, they seemed dark, but I thought it would be kind of interesting. So I picked it up not knowing what it was about. I have to warn people, this has a lot, a lot of triggers and it's a very dark it's a very dark story um yet again you know from the beginning so i'm not spoiling anything not a happy ending <laughs> um i am aware that people do suffer and live through these kind of situations i'm aware of that i understand why the author wrote the way she wrote um It's just a very depressing, dark story. I know some people are confused because, see, in the story, I don't think this is really a spoiler, but in the story, she's telling you two, two versions of what's happened. Not two versions of what's happened. Um, about a past, her past, and sort of the present. And I think by the end of the novel, people are confused but I pretty much, I understood what was going on. I, I understand that at the end of the novel, she's still telling the story of what happened in the past. And that's kind of the ending of what happened in the past. So the beginning kind of tells you pretty much everything um, that happened to her, kind of. Like, I think if you read it from the beginning, you get what she's saying. Anyways, I don't think I'm making much sense. I, I think I understand myself, but I don't know how to explain it. Um, I would not have picked up this book had I known what it was about, not because I want to ignore the fact that things like this happen. It's just not the mood I was in. Um, so very dark, lots of triggers, depressing <laughs> book, but I do give credit to the writer. She did an amazing job describing everything, writing her writing style is really, really good. Um, the way the character spoke and everything. I think she she did good. 
um, representing people that lived through those situations. So I am going to give her props for that. Um, I just It's just not my type of book. But anyways, so three books I was not happy with at, that I read. So I'd probably give them all three stars. <laughs> and then I decided to pick up a few books and try to read a few at a time. This way I don't get bored and this way I kind of have different books going on at the same time and that's never bothered me. I usually have like two books or three at the same time. I have four this time. <laughs> um, the first one that I started reading is Winter because I never finished it and it's the last book that I need to read out of the Lunar Chronicles. I love the series so much. Um, at least the ones that I've read so far. So I really want to finish it. So I decided to start it. I'm only on like on page 15 or something. Um, and then I decided to pick up one that I've had forever. I got an, up, an, an uppercase a long time ago. And that's Wolf by Wolf by uh, Ryan Grodin. I actually read a past book of his. And I find his writing very easy to understand. And kind of easy to breeze through. Not something that completely captivates me, but enough that I enjoy it. So I'm actually enjoying this one. I'm like 100 pages in, and that's in one day. So I was really shocked. Um, like I said, his books are pretty easy to read. The la the one that I read before this one um, was called Walled City. And like he takes historical events or historical places that are real and kind of gives it a twist. Um, so... Uh, Walt City, I actually finished in like two days, I think. Um, this one, I think if I had, if I continued, I could finish it in like two to three days, but I'm not going to. I'm going to take it easy because of my eyes and I have four books going on at the same time. So, um, yeah, I'm on page 100 on that one. I'm enjoying it. It's, it's a decent story. I'm not going to say it completely captivate me. I can't say I love it, but I'm enjoying it and I like it. And, um... This one, obviously, I'm loving. I just started it, though, so I can't say too much about that. Um, the other one I'm reading, well, technically, I haven't read anything since the last time. That's Tower of Dawn. I'm still on page 100. It's not because I don't love it. I've loved what I've read so far so much, but, again, I'm taking it really slow with that one as well. I don't even know when I'm going to get to Kingdom of Ash, but that's fine. Um, and then the fourth book I'm reading is called Experiment. I decided to pick up some of my Christian books and read those as well because they are on my TBR as well. And I have about like 10 of these books. Um, not like this, but like they're all different. Um, and this one just seemed really fun and easy and small. So I thought I would start with this one and include it in my currently reading kind of thing. And it's a Christian thing, which is really nice because I could use some uplifting stuff. And this one is really interesting. So far, I'm like... What am I? What page am I on? I'm on page 33 in one day. That's not bad, actually. Um, it's a smaller book, but it has small print. And I'm liking it. It seems really realistic. I mean, like, you know, whoever, who was the author? I don't even know who the author is. Todd Tem Temple? Temple. Todd Temple. Um, they, they do good on, like, how teenagers react or how any of us react and how we're not perfect, and I can see, like, the attitude, and it's not exaggerated, it just, it's just right amount of realism here, so I really, I like it, it's a good book so far, um, so that's it, that's what I'm currently reading, and what I finished so far, so, um, good beginning of the year, I feel like I'm out of my reading slump at least, and I'm, you know, I'm getting some stuff done. So that's good. So that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And stay tuned for more later on in the month. Because I'm hoping by the end of the month, I'll at least have two of these books finished. Anyways, Happy New Year, everyone. And um, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.